So, for the sake of this illustration, it's, <laughs> you guys know it. So, Steve represents a big problem in my life. Okay? And he represents the next big problem. How many of y'all know there's one right, right, right after the next one? Amen? And he represents the doubt and the tool that the enemy uses to create fear in me. So what does Steve do? Steve, he threatens me with a financial problem. He, 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 not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I ain't get off my <laughs> He just made me deal a little bit. <laughs> he, he threatens me with my child making bad choices, with, with the car that's about to break down, with, with pain and sickness. He threatens me with addiction, with the relationship that's about to end. Now, Andre and Chris, represent the power of God and the presence of God, okay? So the more I love God and talk to Him, the closer I am to my provision and my strength. Remember, He said He guards our hearts and our minds, right? Now, you see these guards? Now, from this position, what do I have to fear? Come on, somebody. Who can mess with me right now? You want me to mention that one? I'll mention it for you if you, if you have me. You know what? This guy's got the spiritual gift of being big. Now, now Steve ain't no chunk. You see their biceps? He, he wore that shirt the other night in Bible study about freaking out. So, now, but what happens when I'm not intimate, when I and when I'm not intentional about praying to God, about seeking his presence, about staying intimate with him, with, with a, a being close to him, then I begin to distance myself. Remember, it's not God that moves, it's me through my choice, right? When I choose relationally to separate myself from God because I choose not to talk to him. If I choose not to talk to my wife, she will be happy for a minute. But eventually that is going to cause a problem in our relationship. Amen? You don't tell her I said that because she's going to tell me. You, you won't be okay. So, so this represents me now. I'm kind of thinking I got life on my own. I'm, I'm a little busy. I don't really feel like praying. I got other things going on in my life and I'm drifting. I'm drifting. God's still there. That provision's still there. Oh. Come on, somebody. You see? I don't have my problems like that. Okay? But, but you know, one, one other thing that I want to show you, though, a lot of times when we think about God and the devil, we think about two equally opposing forces. Right? You got good and you got evil. And they're both, this. it's this 50-50 it's struggle. And I... One other reason I wanted to demonstrate this, there's no, that's what I'm equal. Thank you. There, and there's no, oh, there's another competition, no, can you help me? No. Anyways, there we go. There we, God's way bigger than the devil, okay? It would be opposite if you had to be equal. Correct. Correct. And, and, and I want to demonstrate, so again, the devil ain't no player. He's big, and he's strong, and he will hurt you. Understand that. I won't put the devil with <laughs> But God is way, everybody say way bigger. Way bigger. Way bigger. And he, he can't handle anything the devil has to throw at us, okay? But remember, intimacy requires proximity. We come into the throne room of God. We come into God's presence through prayer, through worship. Can I give these guys a big hand for Oh, we get 20 in 2020. One, two.